Today I have a new piece of software to show to you guys for being able to record your face cam on top of your computer screen content or your gameplay. Hold up a minute, can't we just use OBS Studio like every other normal person to do this? Yes, that's 100% true, but this application is an all-in-one recorder plus a video editor wrapped within a single piece of software. Which piece of software am I talking about? Well, the creators of Filmora have created Wondershare Demo Creator. Let's check it out. You can download this tool on your Mac or Windows PC completely for free, but it does come with some additional paid features such as removing the watermark if you want to get the most out of the application. When you first launch the application, it's going to ask you where you want to have your focus towards. It can either be the all-in-one recorder, the game recorder, or the video presentations mode. Based on the setting that you choose, that'll appear in a panel at the top of the application. If you ever want to adjust this panel, then just go to your preferences and set the panel to your liking. Now you guys probably don't have have an account or even logged in so what you guys are going to want to do is go to the right hand side and go ahead and create a new account i recommend creating an account directly with wondershare demo creator instead of using one of the third party sign in services because this way you'll have a password directly associated with the particular account and that way it'll be a lot easier to sign into demo creator with that all squared away let's check out the all-in-one recorder with this feature you'll get a separate window that'll pop up from demo creator where you can adjust the zone capture the system audio that'll be leveraged, your microphone of choosing, as well as your webcam. I'm using the Insta360 link here, but let's first take a look at the zone capture. I can either specify the dimensions that I want to use if I don't want to have a locked orientation, just unselect the lock button there. I can also select this drop down where it currently says custom zone and I can choose specific dimensions like 1080p or 720p. I can select particular screens to record. I can go into portrait mode. You can also use the social media options here to record in their particular dimensions. I'm gonna stick with the custom zone option because with this, I can actually select a specific part of my screen to be captured for the recording. We already have our Insta360 link selected. We can place this face cam anywhere we want within this purple square. If we're happy with the placement, which I feel pretty happy with that spot, we can actually adjust the shape of that face cam. We can change it to a circle look. Keep it at square if you want. There's also an AI recognition mode where it can remove the background of where I'm sitting. So it's a little bit better if you don't have a gaming chair uh, behind you, but this is what it can look like without a green screen. If you need to flip your camera vertical, there's this mirror feature that you can use. And then there's also this facial option to kind of just adjust what you look like within the image here. So you can adjust the skin toning, face thinning, eyes. For me, I wouldn't use something like this, but if you wanna adjust the way that you look, you can use these features. With those settings good to go, go ahead and select record. You'll get a countdown timer, it'll say three, two, one, and then you will be live. Now, while you're live, you're gonna have this panel that'll come up at the top of your screen. There will be features within here that'll be great to use to make your content more engaging. One of those things can be as simple as a pen. Maybe I wanna use a highlighter tool? Well, we can use that as well. Let's go with the yellow highlighter option and boom. There you go. We wanna add some text to really drive our point home. Well, we can select that text option and then you can start typing in your text. This is a text test, a text test, a, a text test. With the number index feature, you can map out steps one at a time. There's some fun stickers that you can play with. You can create circle shapes. How about some squares? There's arrows, you can make lines. You can go to the right of the line option and click the eraser tool and you can just start erasing things off of your screen. The spotlight tool can be very helpful if you wanna pinpoint things that are on your screen without having to draw on it. The magnify glass is similar in a way, but instead of just having the light focus on a particular point on the screen, this actually zooms it out and makes you focus on it a little bit better. It blows it up. If at any point while you're making your video, you wanna just write something up without having to have something up on screen, well, you can try out the whiteboard mode in this will block everything out that's on the screen currently and you can just go to town with the pen drawing things up. 
that's not my best work. Let's select the undo button until it all goes away. One more thing within the all-in-one recorder is that if you need to pause your video at any point, you can do that by pressing the pause button and then playing again to begin your recording again. But if you hate your recording altogether, you can actually scratch it and re-record with this button here. Or if you're ready to stop and save your recording, just select the end recording button right here. Now for my gamers out there that want to record their amazing gaming moments, there's a feature in here just for you. That is the game recorder. It's set up pretty similar to the all-in-one recorder, but it's a little bit more streamlined in my opinion. So in the game mode section, if you select that drop-down, you can choose the specific target window that your gameplay is on. In this case, we're going to be gaming through remote play, so I'm going to select that as my gameplay window. Select OK. Make sure that the system audio recording is turned on. For the microphone, you can select whichever microphone that you're using plugged into your computer. The webcam, I'm still going to be using the Insta360 Link webcam, which we see right here. I want to make sure that this feature is selected and turned on for editing the recordings right away after I'm done recording. I got my sack boy all up and running. Let's do some recording. You'll also find that in this recording mode, it doesn't have as many features in the panel because it's focused on just for recording your gameplay, not everything that can be shown on a computer screen. Once you've stopped your all-in-one recorder or your gameplay recorder, that footage will open up in the Demo Creator video editor. One thing you'll see right away is that your tracks are separated. So I have a track here for my microphone audio, I have a track for my face cam, and then I also have a track for the gameplay as well as the gameplay audio within this single track. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit onto the track here. And it was about here that my gameplay started. So I can select the split icon to split certain parts of my gameplay. Just make sure that you have the track selected and then you can split it. And now I'm just gonna select the control key in these three clips and then just right click and delete them because I just don't need those anymore. And then I'm just gonna select these to bring them to the front of my edit. Since we have complete control over my face cam track and my gameplay track, I'm gonna select my face cam track that I've made a couple splits to and just blow this clip so that it can take the full screen. In OBS, unless you're using a plugin, your clips are always gonna be together. It won't be separated like this for each easy editing. I also adjusted the gameplay track here so that it looks as full screen as possible with this canvas. Now if we jump over to the effects tab, this is where we can quickly apply motion to our video clips to enhance them further. In the pan and zoom section, let's take the zoom in feature for example, and we can throw that right onto our gameplay timeline. Now when we roll this part of the gameplay back, you'll see that it zooms in and it'll stay zoomed in until I add in the zoom out feature, which I can throw right here. And now if I play this part back, you'll see that the zoom out happens. If I need the zoom effect to be slower or faster, just grab one of the edges and then you can bring it on in to be fast or drag it on out to make it a slow zoom out effect. If we hop over to the advanced tab, this is where we can apply different effects to our face cam image. So a green screen, if you have a green screen, you can apply that. You could also reapply the AI feature. So in case you didn't do it while you were recording, you can do it now. So let's take that AI feature, drag it on in, and now you can see that my background has been removed. If I don't want this video effect with the track selected, I can just go ahead and select the trash can icon for AI recognition. And let's try the blur background and see what that looks like. A professional looking camera lens setup without the expensive setup. If we jump over to the cursor section, this is where we can apply a cursor effect for those tutorial type videos that we did in the all-in-one recorder. Now I wanted to jump to transitions as I know this is an important aspect of your video, especially between all those splits that we just made. Demo Creator has a multitude of transitions that you can choose from. You have some basic ones here, you have 3D ones here that are really cool, then just drag it onto your timeline between your splits. And when you play your video back, you can see what your transition looks like. If you need to apply text annotations, you can do that right within Demo Creator. There's a bunch of different text effects that you can choose from. In this same section, if you go to line and arrow, you'll be able to add those arrows and lines and circles, shapes to your project. Just click what you need to download and then just drag it on in over top. So now when you play your video back, it'll graphically come in with the arrow. And if you pause it here, you can take this arrow, you can spin it around like this to point to what you need, which is Sackboy right there. There he is, I'm pointing to him. Now captions can also be very handy in case you need an intro or you need dividers between different parts of your video, kind of like chapter markers, but you're doing it with captions. They also have a subtitles feature as well as in 
game credits. There's one better thing that they have to offer here, and that's the auto caption feature. By using this feature, you can actually caption the words out of your video without you having to do it manually. Demo Creator also has a whole bunch of stickers that you can look up depending on the type of video that you're working on. There's also a search icon here so that you can be more specific in the stickers that you're looking to find. Now, if you go to the right of stickers, you're going to see this double arrow icon. If you select that, you're going to see an option for filters. Filters are pretty self-explanatory, but this will affect the look of your video. So you can download any one that you like to your style, grab it, throw it on to your timeline or one of your videos. Once it's applied, you'll see the effect take place on top of your video. On the right side of the screen, under the effects tab for that particular track that you're on, you can adjust how much of that effect is applied by just scrolling it down or scrolling it back up. You can modify this to your liking with all the many video effects that Demo Creator has to offer. One more thing in this editing software you can check out is the audio section. Demo Creator has added a whole bunch of different songs to choose from that you can either use for your background music, you can have it as your foreground music, whatever you wanna go with, there's plenty of options here that are royalty free, so you won't get in trouble on YouTube or anything like that for your videos. This edit is great for the standard horizontal long form video, but what if I wanna upload this to Instagram or TikTok? Then what I can do is go to file, then I can go to my project settings, and then within here, I can actually select this custom drop down button, and then I can choose 1080 by 1920, and that will adjust the positioning of my screen. If I select OK, you'll see that that takes place. I would just need to select my clips and adjust them accordingly to fit this window. And my short form TikTok Instagram video is ready for further edits. Now from here, if I'm ready to export the video, just go over to the right hand side, select that export icon. Demo Creator will recognize that this is a vertical video. You can save this in MP4 format, which is what I would recommend going with. Project name, you can go with whatever you want here we'll just call it sack boy if you have video clips that aren't matching up well in your project canvas then you can either have that footage where there's black space to either be black or it can be blurred out so we're just gonna have black background directory we'll keep it as is make sure that your resolution is what you want it to be in 1080 by 1920 in this case and if you're good with everything else go ahead and select export for those of you guys that are interested in it I wanted to quickly touch on the video presentation feature within demo creator in the first drop down here you can choose your webcam of choice for your face cam next to that you can select the microphone that you want to use and then to the right of that you can either have your system audio set the default or you can have that audio turned off if you stay on the camera setting you'll see some additional features on the far right hand side for being able to adjust the framing of that webcam or face cam just select these options you can go circle or rounded square corners or a little bit of a rectangle style whichever one suits your needs the most you can go with that below that you can blur the background out you can flip or mirror your webcam cam by turning this feature on and you can have it horizontal or even flip it upside down if you have to if you keep going you're going to see the remove background feature so if you turn this on you can either use ai recognition which is used right now or if you have a green screen which is a little bit better than the AI recognition if you do have a green screen. You can specify the chroma key color of that green screen to get the right color setting that you need for your green screen to become transparent. Going back up on the right hand side here, you're gonna have this dressing option. So if you have this selected, you'll be able to adjust the way that your face or your skin or your nose or your mouth, the sizing of it looks. To the right of that, you have the filter option. If you apply any of these to your camera, it'll give it that look. Now Demo Creator went a little bit wild here and decided to add in an avatar section so if you switch off from the camera and let's say you want to be like a faceless channel or you just don't want to show your face in your demos or your presentations you can actually select to choose this <laughs> i can choose a character that kind of fits my style the most here and when i move my head certain ways it's gonna move with it and same with talking if i talk the mouth of the avatar is also gonna open same with my hands see my hands have my hands up Pretty cool. I would like to see this improved a bit more to where you can customize your own characters, but it's definitely a good start. As for creating your presentations, you can go over to the bottom left hand side, and this is where you can either add a blank slide, you can add in an existing PowerPoint file that you have, you can add a media file as its own slide, as well as sharing your desktop if you need for a certain part of the slide. Perfect for showcasing a live demo as a part of the presentation. Now you can also adjust the background like I've done here by going to the right hand side, selecting background, and then I can choose between all of these different 
backgrounds to fit the vibe I want to go for on my presentation. And it'll apply to all of the slides too. If you want to adjust the transition, just go to the transition section. Right now I have fade in, but maybe we can go for, let's do pan to the right. So now every time I switch to another slide, so let's go to slide three you'll see that it'll pan to the right. If we go to the objects tab, this is where you can add in those arrows and other signifiers to kind of make your presentation a bit more clear. And Demopedia, it's a useful hub for searching up images to your liking to add into Demo Creator. Once you're happy with the presentation that you've set up and you're ready to roll with it, you can either start your recording or your live stream by pressing one of these two buttons. Once you do that, you're gonna have a countdown that'll go down to three, two, one, and then you will be live. Feel free to adjust your presentation layout while you're live using these features down below on the right hand side. You can have it how it is right now with the merge display. You can show the full content by itself without a face cam, or maybe you wanna focus on you so you can talk, maybe do some Q&A all easily within the application. Well, once you're done, go ahead and select stop. You'll get to see a preview of your recording and from here you'll be able to re-record it if you want. You can export it right away. You can share it out. Or if you want, you can go to the advanced editing option to edit it within the demo creator video editor. But there you guys have it. That is the all-in-one recorder, video editor, presentation feature, demo creator. And for only 45 bucks a year, you get a lot of features wrapped within a single application. So go check it out. You can do that completely for free. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.